In today's episode, I will be talking about the seven main universal styles, the characteristics of each one, so that you have all the information you need to feel much more confident in who you are, what your exact style or styles are, and how to fully embody the woman you want to be. everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for being here, I hope you are all well and if you're new here, hi, my name is Sandra, welcome to my channel. I hope you did write down the five steps to find your personal style I talked about in episode number one, but in case you missed it, uh, I'll leave a card here and uh, also a link in the description box below. So, if you want to effectively communicate who you are to the people around you want to step into the next level version of yourself and who you want to become or have never checked which styles you actually like and aren't sure what really suits your tastes and lifestyle and what to stop wasting time and money buying clothes you don't love Watch this video until the end to know what are the seven main universal styles, what are the main characteristics of each one and what message each one communicates to the people around you. And for today's video, I'm using the theory of the seven universal styles for both men and women, since it's the easiest to explain and to understand besides being the most used by personal stylists. This theory is relatively new. It was described in the 90s by Alice Parsons, an international leader in the image consulting profession, for over 32 years, so lots of experience. She advocates that personal style should be seen as a force for transformation, that advances the inherent potential of individuals. So she, she described seven styles associated and deeply connected to seven different personalities. But before we start, I want to emphasize and clear something. That is, don't mistake personal style with fashion styles. Fashion styles have to do with fashion and trends. For example, the grunge style or the preppy style, among others. While personal style has to do with each one of us, with our personalities. Each style that I'm going to talk has its unique inherent messages that it sends to our surrounding world. Usually, each of us falls into one probably two, and sometimes a combination of three personal styles. So, stay very aware of the characteristics of each style so that you can clearly identify with those traits. And let's get started with the first one, which is the elegant style. It's a refined and stately style. With an elegant style, you are communicating an air of confidence flawlessness, timelessness, and are always polished. There is an element of formality and prestige to this sense of style. Suits are a key element and clothing is simple and exceptionally made. Garments are elongated, gently showing the female form with slightly definition to the body. Colors are usually monochromatic or tone on tone, and fabrics are lightweight and natural. In the elegant style, women often choose high quality over quantity. The second style I'm going to talk about is the traditional or classic style. It's a conservative and business-like style. Through this style, one is communicating messages of trustworthiness, loyalty, credibility, maturity, responsibility and organization. 
a business-like image, always polished, neat and tidy, conservative with tailored lines, structured fabrics and shapes, in neutral and dark colors without any flesh or bold details. Sink, suits, straight trousers and blouses, skirts, knee-length uh, skirts, and classic shoes with no embellishment. The next style I'm going to talk about is the sporty or casual style. Through this style, you're communicating a friendliness, energetic, natural, casual, happy and optimistic message. Typically, people who are sporty in style are easygoing, unpretentious, relaxed and value is in their wardrobes. Easily recognizable elements of the sporty style, not to be confused with athletic wear, are semi-structured pieces, like jeans for instance, sneakers, flat shoes, in neutral light colors and patterns and in natural fabrics as well. Comfort above all. Moving on to the next style, we are going to talk about the feminine style. It's a soft and romantic. This style often projects a sense of lady-likeness and delicacy. It's approachable, warm and caring. Easily recognizable elements of the feminine style are loose hourglass silhouettes, with modesty but still acknowledging the feminine shape, length are longer, colors are softer and pastel, light neutrals as well, fabrics are soft and touchable, lightweight or cozy and patterns are floral, paisley, dots or can even have a wallpaper feel to them. The next style is the alluring style. It's also known as the sexy and glamorous style. This style is captivating and sensual and so that the woman who has this style is comfortable with her body, is proud of her feminine shape, loves glamour and is likely social. Easy recognizable elements of the alluring style are fitted body conscious fabrics, the so-named bodycon dresses that make the figure obvious, hourglass silhouettes, colors are vibrant and rich and fabrics are stretchy, neat and can range from leather to silk. Next style is the creative style. It's original and artistic. Creative people are seen as imaginative and free unique and spontaneous. They take risks and their wardrobe is often a function of their creative urges. Easy recognizable elements of the creative style are mixing anything and everything, unpredictable or unique combination of fabrics, textures and styles, very colorful and the silhouette isn't a focus but often a result of the combination of pieces. Outfits often will have themes. All patterns, textures and colors are used in a creative's wardrobe. No limits or restrictions. And now, last but not least, the seventh style, which is the dramatic style, which is fashionable and sophisticated. Usually, a confident and self-assured woman, assertive, bold, urban, powerful, fashion-forward and aware of the last trends. Usually, they are seen as intimidating, charismatic and apologetic in their dress. Easily recognizable elements of the dramatic styles are non-classic style yet with some structured shape. Exaggerated lines and silhouettes. Colors can range between the darkest darks and the lightest lights. Saturated color also, with high contrast combinations, like black and white, for instance. Garments are often 
large, scaled and make statements. So, to finish, I like to reinforce that having just one style is myth. Usually, people have up to three styles, sometimes more. The idea is to incorporate different characteristics from one, two or three styles to build your own personal style. And if you're wondering what is my uh, personal style, so I try to incorporate some characteristics and some pieces from the elegant style, such as suits, uh, tailored trousers, dresses, uh, in pastel colors, high quality fabrics. I also love the casual style since I love to wear jeans. I love to mix uh, some casual with elegant to kind of dress down the elegant style. I love uh, a good pair of uh, tailored trousers in linen or tailored shorts in linen and uh, a button down uh, shirt also in linen. This kind of sets, it's my go-to uh, outfit uh, and uniform uh, during summer. So uh, more aligned with the casual style. Uh, sometimes I also have um, some characteristics of the creative, creative style. I do love to um, try new uh, combinations. I love to pair um, inusable uh, color combos. Uh, I love to wear some different shapes uh, and this aligns with um, um, greatly with my personality. I may say I'm a mix of elegant, casual, elegant 50% and 25% casual and 25% creative. That are my that is my personal style, the combination of those three styles. So, what I would uh, love to ask you to do right now is to write the characteristics and messages of each one of the styles I talked through. The ones you like the most. And try to figure out why you like this or that style. Think about how you want others see you. What is the message you want to transmit to the people around you? What is the, the characteristics of these styles that align the most with your profession, with your daily activities? Um, choose the ones that uh, go the best with your lifestyle. I think you now have plenty of information to start analyzing your clothes and decide what you like the most. What were the main characteristics of each style that grab your attention? Did you identify with one or more styles already? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know about and I will reply to you all. If you enjoyed this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up. I hope it was useful and that it can help you find your personal style. I would love you all start wearing your best. Consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss anything. There will be four more episodes about this subject. Personal style and dress the best. And in the next episode, I will be talking about body shapes. So stay tuned and don't miss